Let's look at 1.3. Determine without the use of calculator the value of whatever this is. All right. We have a series. Uh, what is a series? A series is a summation of the terms on a sequence, right? So you can see that uh, for the first term, we have 1 divided by square root of 1 plus square root of 2, right? So that is the first term. And then the second term, we have 1 divided by square root of 2 plus square root of 3. And then the third term, as you can see, it's 1 divided by the square root of 3 plus the square root of 4. So when I look at this problem, I'm like, okay, fine. I can see the trend. I see what is going on here. We have Tn is equals to 1 divided by square root of n plus square root of n plus 1. Right, so I have the general formula for the terms of this series, right? So all I need to do now is to calculate the sum, and then I have the answer to 1.3. The question says that we must determine without the use of a calculator the value of that series that we are given there, right? So in order to determine the sum, I need to know which sequence it is. Is it arithmetic? Is it geometric? Or is it quadratic? Right. It has to be one between the three uh, under normal circumstances. And if that is the case, I can easily go ahead and solve the problem. So if it is arithmetic, then we must have a common difference. But then when I try computing the common difference, I cannot get a common difference. So it is not arithmetic, right? And then the next thing I tried is to find a common ratio. If it is geometric, we must have a common ratio. And then the same is true. When I divide T2 by T1, it is not equal to T3 divided by T2. We don't have a common ratio. And lastly, quadratic, the second difference must be constant. But when I actually compute that, the second difference is not a constant. So it is not one of the three, right? That process probably took me like three minutes. And then what came after that took me about an hour to solve a question that is the other of three marks. So ultimately, you have to realize that you have to rationalize the terms of this series. What do I mean by that? So let's look at T1, for instance. T1 is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 plus square root of 2. So if we want to rationalize this fraction, we have to multiply it by the conjugate, right? So we multiply it by square root of 1 minus square root of 2 divided by square root of 1 minus square root of 2, right? Because uh, that is just equals to 1. So we basically multiply it by 1. But then now our answer is going to be rational, right? So if we compute that, you're going to get T1 being equals to square root of 1 minus square root of 2 divided by now i want you to see something so we have square root of one plus square root of two multiplied by square root of one minus square root of two so that is the difference of two squares right so we're gonna have one minus two in the denominator right and then we're gonna get square root of one minus square root of two divided by minus one if you compute that you're gonna get minus square root of one plus square root of 2. So this is T1, right? Let's go ahead and do the same for T2. So if you do the same for T2, we have 1 divided by square root of 2 plus square root of 3. And then again, we are multiplying by the conjugate, right? To get uh, square root of 2 minus square root of 3 divided by square root of 2 minus square root of 3. On the numerator, on the numerator, we're going to get square root of 2 minus square root of 3 divided by 2 minus 3, right? So our answer here will be minus square root of 2 uh, plus square root of 3. So that is T2, right? So let's just do the same for T3 and the last term. We don't have to do that for all the terms. It will take forever. So if we do that for T3, uh, we're going to get 1 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 4. You already know what we're going to do from here, right? But then ultimately, our answer will be uh, minus square root of 3 plus square root of 
four. That will be our final answer after we do all that that we've been doing, multiplying by the conjugate and so on. So that is T1, T2, and T3. Now we just need uh, the last term, right? Now we just need the last term, which is actually T9, T9, because we can see here, we have 99, so it will be T99. So if we do the same thing we've been doing for T99, we're gonna have one divided by uh, square root of 99 plus square root of 100. And then this will give us minus square root of 99 plus square root of 100. Right, so now we have our terms rationalized. Let's write our series again but then now we're using the rationalized terms right so if we do that for t1 we have what do we have for t1 we have minus square root of one plus square root of two right but minus square root of one is just minus one right so we have minus one plus square root of q that is the first term right plus the second Term. So let's go ahead and add the second term. For the second term, we have minus square root of q plus square root of 3. Right? And then the third term, we're going to have plus, plus what? Plus minus square root of 3 plus square root of 4. Right, so that is the third term. And then plus all the terms in the middle until the last term. So for the last term, we have minus square root of 99 plus square root of 100. And now we just one step away from getting our answer. So we have minus 1 here. And then here we have plus square root of 100. Those two numbers will remain as they are. But then all the numbers between those two numbers, they're going to cancel out. Let me show you how. Here we have plus square root of 2 and here we have minus square root of q and then here we have plus square root of 3 here we have minus square root of 3 here we have plus square root of 4 so on the term that comes after this one we're going to have minus square root of 4 right whatever you have is going to be subtracted by the term that follows the only terms that are going to remain is minus one and plus square root of 100 right there is no plus one that is going to cancel out the minus one and there's no minus square root of 100 that is going to cancel out plus square root of 100 all these terms will be equals to minus one plus square root of 100 right all the terms in the middle are going to cancel out and that is just uh, minus 1 plus square root of 100 which is 10 right so the answer to 1.3 without using a calculator is 9